Chapter 1, Lesson 6, Scientific Notation. You will be able to use scientific notation to write large and small numbers. Scientific notation is when a number is written as the product of a factor and an integer power of 10. The factor must be greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10. So in the format, a times 10 to the n, a would have to be any number between 1 and 10, including 1, and n, the exponent, would be any integer, positive or negative number. Use the following rules to express a number in scientific notation. If the number is greater than or equal to 1, the power of 10 would be positive, meaning it creates a bigger number. If the number is between 0 and 1, the power of 10 is negative, or a small number. Write each number in standard form. So here we have 5.3 times 10 to the fourth power. The exponent is positive, so I know that this is a larger number, greater than 1. To make 5.34 a larger number, we would move the decimal point to the right. And we're going to move it to the right four spaces. One, two, three, four and fill in those gaps with zeros. So we get 53,400. And I'm going to skip B and go back to it in a moment. Let's take a look at C. We have 7.42 times 10 to the fifth. Again, it's a positive exponent, which means this number is bigger than 1. So we're going to move the decimal point to the right and we're going to move it five spaces. One, two, three, four, five. Filling in those empty spaces with zeros. So we would get 742,000. Now for letter B, we have a negative exponent, which means it's a small number. And to make 3.27 a small number, we're going to instead now move it to the left, three. One, two, three. Again, filling in those gaps. So we would get point zero zero three two seven. Letter D. It's a negative exponent, so it's going to be a small number which means we are going to move our decimal point in 6.1 two spots to the left. So point zero six one or 61 thousandths. Letter E. The power of 10 is positive, therefore this is a larger number, which means we will move the decimal point two spots to the right. 371.4. You will not always have to add zeros. Letter F. Again, we have a positive exponent, which means it's a larger number. So we will move the decimal point five spots to the right. So 993,100. Now let's go the other way. Let's take these numbers in standard form and write them in scientific notation. When we are placing the decimal point, it has to go after the very first digit that is not a zero. So in this case, it would go between the three and the seven. So I'm going to put my decimal point in and bring down the other numbers. There's no need to bring down extra zeros. We need to bring down our multiplication and our 10, and we need to decide what the power is. Well, first of all, 3,725,000 is a large number, so I know the exponent is positive. The decimal point in the standard form is at the end of the number, and I moved it all the way between the 3 and the 7. 
So all you have to do is count how many spots that is. One, two, three, four, five, six. So my power is positive six. Letter B. Move the decimal point to, and um, after the first number that's not a zero, which in this case is a three. So the first part would be 3.16, bringing everything down. Again, no need to write the zeros. This is a small number, a number less than one, which tells me that it's going to be a negative exponent on the power of 10. So I'm going to have times 10 to the negative and then count how many spots. One, two, three, four. So 3.16 times 10 to the negative 4. Letter C. I'm going to move that decimal point to the first number that is not a 0. So it will be 1.414. Again, not bringing down those extra zeros. Times 10. I, mean, I know it's a positive exponent because 14 million is a large number. And it originally started at the end of the number and moved over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 places. So 1.414 times 10 to the 7th. Letter D. My decimal point will end up going between the 8 and the 7. So I have 8.76. It's the first digit that is not a zero. And it moved one, two, three places. Now the original number is very small, so I know that my exponent is actually a negative three. Letter E. The decimal point will go in between the one, the two ones. So it's 1.14 times 10. It is a negative exponent because it's a small number, less than one. And it moved over once. The decimal point moved over once. Letter F, it would go, the decimal point would be in between the eight and the seven. And I'll bring down the other digits disregarding the zeros. This is a large number, so I know that the exponent is positive. The decimal point started at the end and moved over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 spots. Refer to the table below. Order the countries according to the amount of money visitors spent in the United States from least to greatest. So what we're going to do here is we're going to expand all of these numbers. And when I do, I'm going to make sure that I line them up starting on the right hand side, how we would line up any numbers. So we have 1.03, this is for Canada, times 10 to the 7th, which means I move the decimal point over 7 to the right because it's a large number. Okay, and I'm going to rewrite these numbers a little bit neater. Okay, that's Canada. For India, 1.83 times 10 to the 6. So we move it over 6 spots to the right. And fill in with zeros. And I'm going to line it up from the right hand side underneath our number from Canada. So it looks like there are 4 zeros. And then a 3, 8, 1. <clears throat> Next is India, or Mexico, 7.15, and it's times 10 to the 6, so we move it to the right 6 times. And 
and we'll line it up with our other numbers. And then the United Kingdom, 1.06 times 10 to the 7th. Move it to the right 7. Okay. It wants us to order them from least to greatest. The smallest number is the one in green, which is India. The next smallest is the one in blue, which is Mexico. And then we have Canada. And last but not least, the United Kingdom or the UK. Letter B. Some of the top U.S. cities visited by overseas travelers are shown in the table. Order the cities according to the number of visitors from greatest to least. So when we are doing this, again, let's expand our numbers. We'll do Boston first. 7.21 times 10 to the fifth. Move it over to the right. Las Vegas is 1.3 times 10 to the 6. Move it over to the right, 6. Los Angeles is 2.2 .2 times 10 to the 6th. Move it over to the right, 6. And the Metro DC area is 9.01 times 10 to the 5th. Move it over to the right, 5. And this time we're ordering from greatest to least. The largest number is the blue number, which is Los Angeles. The second largest is the green, which is Las Vegas. The next largest would be the DC area and then last but not least would be Boston if you could walk at a rate of 2 meters per second it would take you 1.92 times 10 to the 8 seconds to walk to the moon is it more appropriate to report this time as 1.92 times 10 to the 8th seconds or as 6.09 years? Explain your reasoning. 6.09 should seem more meaningful to you. And here's why. So let's jot that down. The measure 6.09 years is more appropriate. Okay. And since our 1.92 times 10 to the eighth, let me put that exponent in there. Okay. Since that number is very large, choosing a larger unit of measure is more meaningful. Letter D. 
In an ocean, the sea floor moved 475 kilometers over 65 million years. Is it more appropriate to report this rate as 7.3 times 10 to the negative 5 kilometer per year or 7.31 centimeters per year? Explain your reasoning. So here again, it's a little similar. It's similar to the other one. We, won't want, we would want to use 7.31 centimeters. Okay, and the reasoning is since the number is very small, using a smaller unit of measure is more meaningful. So when you're dealing with a large number, use a larger unit of measure. When you're dealing with a small number, use a smaller unit of measure.